I'm Nathan Epstein. Good to have you along. Spring games for Virginia, Virginia Tech, and Old Dominion. The Monarchs coming off a disappointing 3-9 and nine season last year. Head coach Ricky Ronnie has to find a new quarterback with Hayden Wolf, the starter for the last season and a half, having entered into the transfer portal. You couldn't have asked for a more beautiful spring day at SB Ballard Stadium. New day for the Old Dominion offense. On the right, there's head man Ricky Ronnie. On the left, his new offensive coordinator Kevin Decker, who spent the last four seasons with Fordham. Only two quarterbacks saw action today. Who's going to replace Wolf as the starter? Number 13, that's Grant Wilson, a junior transfer from Fordham, intercepted by Malcolm Britt. You may remember that name. He led Oscar Smith to the state championship game a few years ago. New, now a redshirt sophomore, Coach Ronnie said he thought the running game looked pretty good today. Here's one big play. The give to Alex Dredge. Nice, solid gain into enemy territory. He and the redshirt junior Keyshawn Wicks really made some nice plays out there. Towards the end of the scrimmage, that's when the quarterbacks started to find their rhythm. Number eight, Jack Shields, a redshirt sophomore from Northern Virginia. Perfect touch. Dominique Dutton, the great grab just outside the five. That led to a short touchdown toss for Shields a little bit later. Wilson back in the game. He's going end zone. And look at Javon Harvey. Got his foot down in the corner, makes the catch. That's a touchdown. Harvey's a redshirt junior from Lake Taylor High School in Norfolk. He really emerged as the star, as the star late in this game. These two quarterbacks started going back and forth not long after. It's Shields busted coverage. Tariq Sims, the redshirt sophomore, wide open for the touchdown. A nice showing from two quarterbacks, but what did Coach Ronnie think? I was excited about how they played today. You know, I mean, it's hard because they're not live and they're both pretty athletic and can get away from some things that maybe uh, they can't in this type of situation. Still, you know, working to evaluate both of them. And, and like I've been pretty open about, we'll bring in a, a transfer as well. And, and, and the quarterback competition will still be um, ongoing. Be able to have, uh, you know, at least three quarterbacks with the ability to start a college football game where you feel like you can win a Sun Belt game, that's awesome. We're going to have much more on the Monarchs tomorrow. First game of the year will be at Virginia Tech, September 2nd.